Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gita Sukuja and I am a culinary nutrition expert who has been teaching cooking classes in Toronto since December 2018. So I wanted to share a little bit about who I am, what I do, why I'm on YouTube, and what do I hope to get out of it? Isn't YouTube so saturated? Why do we need another person on here? And the reality is that the internet is growing. My parents are on the internet. They're always watching YouTube. My brother's always watching YouTube and he always wants recipes from me. I wanna create this channel so I can share it with my loved ones so they can have things that are documented, things that you guys can try out, recipes you guys can try out, and also a way for me to connect with more people outside of Toronto, which is where I live. So I'm gonna start off with what you should know about me. So the first thing you should know about me is that I am extremely passionate about food, especially food that's jam packed with flavor. I'm talking Indian, Mexican, Mediterranean, Persian. I love anything with spice in it. And I think flavor truly is the spice of life and food that doesn't have flavor in it and is so bland just tastes really bad. But for the most part, we can all have some spices in our diet and we can all learn from each other's collective knowledge, which is why I am on YouTube. I wanna share some recipes that I've tried and then I ended up modifying because of my own dietary restrictions, uh, which is that I am gluten-free and dairy-free. I've been gluten-free, dairy-free about four years. Uh, every now and then I'll try and taste it, uh, but it just never really works out. Um, I just don't like the taste of dairy anymore. I don't feel great having it. And with gluten, I just get a lot of bloating, gas. Um. So why I went gluten and dairy free is a, is a whole nother topic for another time, which I'll cover in a future video. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when I post next. But I've been obsessed with cooking since I was 10 or 11 years old. My aunt would make the best chicken biryani and she would hand grind all the spices and the aroma from her spices that she would grind in the mortar and the pestle it would just fill the house and it was my favorite time and i used to literally beg her every week to make me biryani make me biryani and i used to eat a lot of chicken biryani growing up and then one day my aunt just left because of what i now understand might have been her pursuing other endeavors but at the time to a 10 year old it felt like abandonment and I tried to mimic her creation in the kitchen. I would get in the kitchen, try to make biryani. Every time it sucked. My chicken would turn out raw. My rice would turn out raw. Uh, and my mom was like, she's wasting all these ingredients, all this food. And my dad was like, you know what? No, she's doing okay. She's learning. She's trying. Let her do her thing. Let her fail a bunch and learn. And then I realized that the biryani wasn't really that good. I didn't like it. And then I kind of complained about it to my friend who then came over and taught me her way of making biryani. And it turned out amazing. I ended up mimicking that biryani for my parents. And my mom was finally approving of the way that I had made that biryani. So now every week I would get requests from my parents to make the biryani. And before I left, Kuwait, which is where I grew up, I taught my brother how to make biryani. And then when I moved to Canada, I didn't have access to, or proper access to a kitchen uh, until ultimately I had to ask the people I was living with to give me access. I was living in a paying guest accommodation. So it wasn't as great and it was hard to be able to cook the things that I really liked to or wanted to try. Uh, but um, in the end, I had to start cooking for myself eventually, like all of us have to. And I learned different recipes, tried different recipes, and then I ended up switching my diet because I wasn't feeling as good. I got a lot of acne from the food that I was eating. Um, there were a lot of issues that I was experiencing, including a, a hypothyroid diagnosis. I am now a certified culinary nutrition expert, which I'm very happy about. And I also teach one of the only 100% organic gluten and dairy free Indian food cooking classes in Toronto. So I'm very happy with where I am right now. I've always wanted to share my love for Indian food with others, especially my love for spices. And I've been able to do that through my cooking classes. 
And if you guys want to check out the cooking classes, the link is in the description below. Um, you can take a look at that. I also have all the links to my social media and that you can check out at your own leisure and follow me. I want you guys to just share in the comments below what is that one thing that you as a child would love eating something that gives you that nostalgic moment and for me that is chicken biryani and one day i hope to run a cooking class where i teach people how to make chicken biryani because that dish you guys is lit everyone should learn how to make a chicken biryani a good chicken biryani so until next time, this is Gita signing off and stay spicy and live your best life, everyone. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel.